a lot goes on in battle school, uh, on and offset. Um, in battle school, it's where everybody comes together and they're they're you know being put through training and um, filming it was really great because you know you'd get to set you would you know it's 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 very um, military based and you know we had to go through the military training and the boot camp and all of that and uh, it's a really um, in a visual aspect very military and uh, in battle school is you know other than that's where they train that's where they that's where they live that's where they are that's pretty much all that goes on I guess I can't really say I was prepared. Um, like I said, after I read the script, I was just, I just sat there and was like, okay, how are they gonna do this? This sounds incredible. And I got here and before I knew it, I was on wires hanging in zero gravity and I was, you know, we went to space camp and um, it, it was a bit of a whirlwind right before we started filming. So I guess I can't really say I was prepared for that. Garrett, he's the bomb. He is just so great and so enthusiastic about what he does and that just makes it so much more fun for us. Um, but I remember literally walked in, I met him, and I was on the ground doing push-ups. That's how it started. And um, after that, you know, I was on wires, and uh, that, was, that was fun. It was very uncomfortable at first, but after, you know, you got over that, it was really great. Oh my goodness, best times up there in, in the zero-G world. Um, along with, you know, just, it's really actually not just hanging on wires, Garrett has, um, come up with some incredible rigs that have, you know, I mean, like I said, you'd never think of the types of things that, you know, and I think that's what's going to really shock the audience is that it, it looks so real and um, it's because of what Garrett has created and what all of us have kind of come together and, and have done. So the first time I saw the flash shoots, I went into what we call Flash Shoot City, which is basically just racks and racks and racks of all the flash shoots. And I mean, you're standing there and you're like, okay, these are probably the coolest thing I've seen. And we got used to them after a while. The only, the hard part was running in them because they're very tight. And uh, again, with our helmets, that wasn't very easy, but um, they look good and that's all that matters. So I play Petra Arcanian, um, who is a very independent, strong female character, which I love. And she's the only girl in the Salamander army. Right away, Petra sees a lot of herself in Ender, in a sense that, you know, maybe they were brought up the same way and they're, you know, they're at battle school and all they want is to, you know, get the job done and go back to their families. And uh, I think they're both very similar in that way. And um, they have a really, really incredible connection. Working with Ace has been really amazing. Um, we hit it off you know, very quickly in the beginning, and um, we've become very close. And I think, you know, what he's brought to the role, just so many elements. He's, he is Ender, I, I totally see it. Um, he's just brought that intelligence and the creativity and the excitement. I haven't worked with many directors, but I do have to say, that Gavin is, you know, not only like in terms of being a visual director, but, you know, having been an actor, I think that, I mean, for me, it's been such a help that he just kind of, he knows, you know, he knows. And it's not just that, you know, here's what you're gonna do, now go do it. And if it's not the way he wants it, he doesn't, or whoever it is wants it, that's, you know, how it's gonna be. Um, he knows how to get us there and he knows how to help us. And that's been really great. For me and Asa, uh, especially, it gets to a point in the day where we literally look at each other, no matter what comes out of our mouth, we just start cracking up and we just can't even focus. So that's always, you know, that's always good. I've never laughed harder than I have when I'm with these guys and every, every minute that, you know, I've shared with them has been really great. It's crazy to think back to almost, over, you know, a little over a year ago to when we were shooting the film. And even before that, sort of watching it all come together and uh, just watching sort of the sets come together and the uh, process of what our zero gravity uh, battle room scenes were going to be like and how we were going to pull that off. Everything has been so surreal and so exciting. And to be all the way here, to end up here at Comic-Con, to sort of kick it off is just so exciting. 
It's so exciting. I've never had the experience where there's been a book that has such an incredible fan base as this. And it's sort of nerve-wracking, but at the same time, so thrilling to be able to share something with people that are so looking forward to it. I'm excited about everything. It literally, it's, what's so great is, as a whole, it's this epic, adventurous sci-fi film, and there are so many layers underneath that. There's so much heart, and the theme of teamwork and love and everything involved with the film as a whole is just amazing.